What up Fortnite fam? I'm Matt and it's that time again. We're going over everything new in today's Fortnite update in under 5 minutes. But hey, before any of that I've got a little message from the one and only Clicks that you might want to have a listen to first. This is Clicks. I'm super excited to announce the launch of my exclusive 2 week bootcamp teaching you guys how to master fighting in Fortnite. We're going to practice, train and learn together so that you'll be able to play the game the way I do. I'm going to help you completely transform the way you approach fighting and constantly outplay your opponents. Alright, first things first, let's go over the map changes in this patch because once again Epic Games are knocking things out of the park by actually giving us some new locations. In this update, the main new location that we're going to be able to visit is the Covert Canyon POI. This location can be found on the northwest side of the map around where the snowy mountains and the grassy green areas connect. This is a new imagined order location, so if you do go there, you better expect to come up against not just some IO guards, but the new boss of the map, the IO Brute. The IO Brute looks like he's going to be pretty OP as far as bosses go. According to Hypex, he has 650 HP, 650 shield, a charge dash attack that has a 10 second long cooldown, a mythic SMG and he even throws grenades. The location looks to be a big internal section to the mountain which can be accessed through a series of tunnels or through the big water section at the top of the mountain. If you enjoyed the grotto in chapter 2 then this might just be the new location for you. While some players were expecting a change to the Catus location near Tilted, that looks like it stayed the same so far, meaning we probably won't see any changes there until perhaps the next patch. With the map changes looked at, let's go over some mechanical changes. First and foremost, there's a new type of item that can be found on the Fortnite island. These are called feathers, and they basically don't do anything in terms of gameplay. These are just to change up the mask that the Haven skin wears. Competitive players don't worry though, because there have actually been a ton of really good changes to the game this patch that you are probably going to love. First of all, the max stack size of the armoured walls have been lowered, down to 15. That's still a lot of armoured walls that players are able to carry around though, so we're not sure how much that will actually affect the meta going forward. Much more exciting are the Stinger SMG and MK7 nerfs that have occurred. There have been massive damage nerfs across the board to every rarity of both of the weapons, meaning those sprayers are going to have a little bit of a tougher time biting through your builds and your health. Not only that, the kickback of the revolver after shooting has also been reduced, allowing players to be just a little bit more accurate with this high powered weapon. The heavy shotgun has also returned. Do be aware though, it is a little bit different from how it worked in the past. Now it only shoots a single pellet, while other shotguns shoot multiple. Also, going by the red dot sight on the top of the weapon, you can probably aim down sights with it, just like some of the other weapons that are now in the game. This new version of the heavy can be obtained from chests, floor loot, supply drops and sharks. The final main change to the mechanics of the game is the addition of a new web shooter variant that is specific to competitive. The new web shooters only have 20 shots in them, which means web slingers will have to be a little bit more conservative about when they use this incredible movement tool, though maybe at this point they should just remove them from comp. Next up, the leaked skins, and I'm gonna be honest, there's actually not that much this time around. We've got one outfit, the Queen of Hearts, two harvesting tools in the form of the Mace of Hearts and the Thorns of Passion, two new backlinks, the Beast Llama and the Hearts Abound, and four new wraps, the Regal Heart, Sneaky Soul, Hearty, and Spaced. So there may not be many new cosmetics this time around, but there have been a ton of changes to the map and the mechanics that should be pretty exciting to explore and play around with over the next two weeks before the next pack shakes things up again. What do you think of the new update? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of these speedy patch breakdowns. With all that said, I've been Matt, and I'll see you all for the next patch.